One of the most well-known brands in car manufacturing is BMW. The company's lineup of well-liked vehicles is so vast that its popularity has peak. However, BMW outdid itself with its brand new hydrogen engine, which no one in the EV sector anticipated. What's the deal with the BMW engine? Why is it so unusual and how does it operate? Electric vehicles are becoming more popular in the automotive industry, at a rate that should concern manufacturers of internal combustion engine automobiles. Tesla alone shipped more than 1.3 million battery cars in its rapidly growing industry in 2017. However, BMW is one of the automakers that are bold in its own course. In fact, the CEO declared outright that driving a hydrogen car soon will be the coolest thing to do. BMW is investing heavily in the technology of hydrogen-powered vehicles, even though this has yet to be proven. BMW has experience with hydrogen technology. The company started looking into it in 1978, but the E38-750HL was not introduced until 2000. A fleet of 15 V12-powered vehicles that can run on gasoline and hydrogen was showcased in Berlin. The automobiles were used as shuttles during Expo 2000 in Hanover. The Hydrogen 7 made a second appearance with the V12 in 2006. During the life cycle of the E68, it was manufactured in small quantities. BMW started manufacturing the 95 Hydrogen in-house using fuel cells in 2022 to produce several hydrogen-powered SUVs. But why does Munich-based car manufacturer place such a high value on hydrogen technology? Well, it will apparently become fashionable after the battery-powered EV craze dies out. But what the company chairman has yet to say is when that will happen. Of course, the CEO added an important condition for hydrogen to retire lithium-ion batteries. He said after the electric car, which has been around for about 10 years, and is rapidly expanding, the next trend would be hydrogen. When it becomes more scalable, hydrogen cars will be the coolest vehicles. He added that having only one powertrain available in Europe in 2035, a battery-powered EVs would be dangerous. It would be dangerous for the driver, the industry, and the climate from every angle you look at it. Toyota, meanwhile, thinks that fuel cell vehicles have a future and is not only the firm waiting for hydrogen, the two manufacturers collaborate on FCVs and full production might start as early as 2025. Peter Nauta, the head of BMW sales, revealed to Asian Nikkei earlier this year that the German company and the Japanese giant are collaborating on several projects. Strange bedfellows, yes. However, there is more the two share in common than that. While pushing out EVs, both companies have been outspoken in their opposition to the hasty adoption of battery EVs. Besides their joint interest in hydrogen technology, BMW and Toyota believe combustion engines have a future, particularly in markets lacking charging infrastructure. When that time comes, BMW is positioning itself to take advantage of the future popularity of hydrogen cars. That is why it is actively researching technologies to use hydrogen to power a car. This research has taken the Germany company to new places, as we shall soon show you. BMW debuted to new hydrogen engine in the BMW Hydrogen 7. This car was based on both the BMW 760i and BMW 760li saloons. It features a dual-mode 12-cylinder combustion power that can run on both hydrogen and regular gasoline. The maximum output is 191 kilowatts or 260 horsepower, which propels the BMW Hydrogen Saloon to 100 kilometers per hour in 9.5 seconds. The top speed is electronically limited to 230 kilometers or 143 miles per hour. The car can switch between the hydrogen engine and the normal ice while in motion. The hydrogen tank holds approximately 8 kilos of liquid hydrogen and the gasoline tank holds 74 liters of fuel. This means you get a cruising range of more than 200 kilometers or 125 miles on hydrogen and 500 kilometers or 310 miles on gasoline. This means in total, you get about 425 miles from this car. 
that is okay for a car with challenging EVs and driving ranges. Of course, in hydrogen mode, the engine emits almost nothing but vapor. However, when you switch to the ice, you again have yourself a carbon emitter. You may wonder about the difference between BMW's hydrogen engine and fuel cells. In contrast to fuel cells, which use hydrogen to generate electricity before driving the vehicle with an electric motor, the BMW Hydrogen 7 feeds hydrogen directly into the combustion engine. The dual-mode combustion engine operates in the hydrogen mode with external mixture formation outside the engine. In contrast, fuel is injected directly into the combustion chambers in the gasoline mode. Any combustible liquid, in theory, can be used in an internal combustion engine. Standard petroleum is a collection of hydrogen atoms chemically bound to carbon atoms. The bond is broken when mixed with air and ignited releasing the energy and horsepower. BMW has replaced the hydrocarbon bonds from gasoline with pure, energy-rich hydrogen. The modified BMW V12 engine could run on gasoline or super-cooled cryogenic hydrogen mixture. On the other hand, fuel cells still require a large lithium-ion battery to operate. But that is not the case with BMW's hydrogen engine. Also, car sound is important to you. In that case, the hydrogen engine still makes the satisfying then of a nice motor, unlike an electric motor. To keep self-ignition and backfiring under control, the compression ratio was reduced to 9.5. This included shortening the connecting rod by 1.5 millimeters, modifying the piston head geometry, and cutting slits into the aluminum cylinder block at the gussets between the cylinder liners to increase coolant flow in this area and achieve more consistent heat dissipation around the top dead center. The cylinder head is sealed with a specifically developed four-layer metal gasket. In contrast to gasoline mode, hydrogen mixture formation is based on cylinder selective intake manifold injection with a low overpressure of one bar. This pressure is generated solely by the evaporation of cryogenic hydrogen in the tank, so no hydrogen feed pump is required. The heat required for evaporation is drawn from the engine coolant and controlled by an electric pump. When you start the engine, the BMW Hydrogen 7 automatically switches to hydrogen mode to avoid the emissions that would otherwise occur when starting the engine cold on gasoline. Because the driver can only switch to gasoline mode after the Coletta converter has warmed up, the BMW Hydrogen 7 never runs in unfavorable conditions with unclean emissions. However, if you're dreaming of BMW's new hydrogen engine at this point, you should know a few things. The first is that parking the car for several reasons will cause you to lose the remaining fuel. That is not ideal and is not a problem with proper ICE cars, but it comes with a package with the Hydrogen 7 engine. But what exactly is going on here? You can't cheat physics. Even vacuum superinsulation cannot completely prevent the intrusion of higher temperatures which means that a small amount of liquid hydrogen will inevitably boil off over time. However, this minor evaporation effect only occurs once the vehicle has been parked for at least 17 hours. At this point, the pressure inside the fuel tank rises to the point where boil-off management of the gaseous fuel is required. Boil-off management controls the removal and conversion of hydrogen when the inner pressure inside the tank exceeds a predetermined ideal pressure level. The resulting gaseous engine is mixed with air in a venturi pipe before oxidizing into the water in a colitic converter. The time required to purge a half-full hydrogen tank in a controlled process is approximately 9 days. Still, BMW assures you that the hydrogen remaining in the tank is sufficient to cover approximately 20 kilometers in hydrogen mode. Imagine all the places you could go with that driving range. However, if the BMW Hydrogen 7 is driven in hydrogen mode, the pressure inside the tank will drop due to the consumption of hydrogen used to power the engine. The 17-hour parking period without energy loss will begin again, and the vehicle will be parked again. Meanwhile, hydrogen may be more gentle on the environment. Still, it is odorless and colorless, making it hard to notice humans. Because hydrogen is 15 times lighter than the surrounding air, it rises quickly to higher levels when it escapes into the air. Still, the problem is that it is more flammable. BMW is aware of this, so it took time to address the issue. 
So we've already talked about the boil-off management system. Still, there is another set of redundant valves monitoring the tank's content in the event of a significant pressure buildup, such as from tank damage, which releases hydrogen under controlled conditions if necessary. As soon as the first valve is open, hydrogen is guided to the car's roof via safety pipes installed in the seat pillars. The second valve, which only opens at higher pressure, allows hydrogen to float the car's underfloor or be discharged into the air. The beautiful thing about this is that unlike a car powered by gasoline or diesel fuel, there is no risk of escalation at the scene of an incident. The risk of burning fuel spreading on the ground does not exist in a hydrogen car. This is because hydrogen does not accumulate on the ground in ignitable puddles but rather rises and vanishes into the air. To further enhance your safety, the BMW Hydrogen 7 features a multi-level safety concept that incorporates various safeguards to prevent the hydrogen tank from bursting and hydrogen from escaping the tank in an uncontrolled manner. However, it is safe to park this car anywhere. Parking in enclosed spaces is currently prohibited because adequate statistically reliable data obtained under normal operating conditions is not yet available to confirm the safety of the hydrogen tank. This means you can't park it in your covered garage if you have one. In the interest of car drivers, the BMW Group will maintain this rule until adequate statistically valid reliability data has been compiled. This information will be gathered for long-term use and additional backup and security programs. However, driving and briefly stopping in fully enclosed spaces such as indoor car parks, driving through tunnels of any length using car wash facilities, and parking in an open carport are all permitted. One bright side to all this potential headache is that filling the hydrogen tank is simple in theory and works similarly to filling your gas tank. The driver places the pressure tight and low temperature proof tank connection for liquid hydrogen in the liquid hydrogen filler manifold of the BMW Hydrogen 7 and then connects it by manual pressure, just like a standard fuel pump. The connection is entirely tightened by a system controlled process to fill the tank. Touch a button in the cockpit near the steering wheel to open and seal the tank filler flap. The full tank filling procedure takes less than 8 minutes. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. Will you purchase the hydrogen vehicle if BMW produces it? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.